Hi, this is Craig Summers. I'm here with longevity expert Peter Ragnar and longtime friend of mine, Katrina Mayer. And we're going to talk a little bit about longevity and specifically the telomeres and how they relate to longevity. Because I am a naturopath and they came to me to have their uh, telomeres checked, I was quite impressed with the results of their tests. Peter came out just under 35 years old, and Katrina came out uh, around 27 years old. And we would like to know how you guys live and how you eat and how you achieved such success when it comes to your DNA. Ooh, can we tell those secrets? I don't know. <laughs> we can give it a try. All right. Wait a minute, where is this step? No, not that one. Not that one? No. Okay. Anything but that one. <laughs> Anything but that one. All right, well, so be it. There you have it. <laughs> well, obviously, you can see that there's a lot of humor in our lives. And we find so many things to laugh about, which keeps you lighthearted, keeps the stress levels down, and uh, we, we live a, a, a peaceful, joyous, happy life, right to start with. I noticed that you're living out here in kind of the middle of nowhere with acres of forest all around you, and the air is so clean, and you could literally hear a pin drop out here. Um, I'm sure that is definitely helpful, but Well, what you know I lived for almost 50 years in the midst of New York. That's right, with a high stress job as a vice president of a very popular bank. So tell us your secrets. Well, even when you're in the middle, and this is what I try to tell people, because a lot of people say, I can't move to the middle of Kentucky on a 150 or 250 acre farm. I have this other lifestyle. How can I do the things you're talking about? And the, the truth is you can because you know when you met me, that's what I was doing. I was living a very high stress life. But I still managed to, I was the executive who came in with a green smoothie every day. I was the one who, when we had um, corporate meetings, I always had the vegan dish. You know, I was the one who maybe was looking at things a little differently because I didn't want to take on all that stress level. So. Yes, I live now on this beautiful farm, but at the time I didn't. And you can live a less stressful life even in the midst of all of that. Wonderful. And Peter, how has your life been uh, before you moved here to this beautiful farm? Well, before I moved here, I lived for 30 years on top of a mountain and lived very reclusively, very quietly. So somewhat of a contrast to how Katrina was living her life. And of course, prior to that, I had uh, lived in the woods. Uh, I spent a few times, uh, a few portions of my life in the city. Actually, what's interesting is that uh, I grew up right around the corner from where Katrina lived. And it was uh, very, very you never, you never grew up, honey. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I take that back. I didn't grow up, but I remember going up there. For, uh, we dated long distance, obviously, and uh, so I flew up there to see Katrina, and she picked me up at the airport, and I said, wait a minute, do you live here? And she said, yeah, right around the corner. I said, do you know, 50 years ago, I was leaving New York and I was never going to come back. I had my car packed with every, all my belongings and my mother and I had dinner right here at this restaurant around the corner from where you lived. And I, I swore I'd never come back. <laughs> and here I am 50 years later coming back to the exact same spot. It was deja vu, like a blink of an eye. And that sense of timelessness overwhelmed me. Yeah. And that, Craig, is one of, one of the secrets that I've discovered is that I've been living my life without any sense of time. So there is no necessarily uh, uh, big marks on the calendar. I know that time is not... What's a calendar? Not, 
<laughs> well, we don't have one, so. <laughs> Time isn't toxic. Time can't kill you. I noticed that there are no clocks around. I looked to see the time last night, and there wasn't any time. We don't have <laughs> clocks. We don't have TVs. Even our calendars. I noticed his calendar. He, he got it because it had pretty pictures. <laughs> but it, it, it hasn't been flipped in months, so. Oh, I forgot to do that. That was last year. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what about your diet? That's of great interest to our viewers. Well, here we grow a lot of our organic heirloom, veggies, greens, fruits. Uh, some of it is right from the property, and both Peter and I are uh, vegan and high raw food. So that, to us, feels very good, feels very right, feels very high vibration to us. And that's, that's a catchphrase around here a lot of times, high vibration. What is the highest vibration of what we're doing? Um, so if you, you saw before, you were handing me some supplements saying, how do you like them? And I, I have to muscle test it. I have to see if the vibration is right for me. So for us, the food has to be high vibration. Yes, the salad that we had last night, I helped Peter out in the garden harvesting some kale and arugula and some other wonderful fresh picked greens. And we had just a small salad. There wasn't really much to it, but I was so satisfied. I was not hungry at all from just a, a tiny little salad like you'd get in a restaurant. A fancy restaurant would have a, a small portion and you know just a couple of walnuts on top. And I was really amazed at how full it made me feel and how satisfied I was afterwards. Yeah. And that just what Katrina was saying, it's, it's all about vibration. And I guess you could say, uh, Craig, that one of our secrets is also making certain that the soil that we grow our vegetables in is of the highest vibration. Actually, every seed that went in that garden was blessed, and Katrina blessed, blessed them. She actually, uh, when she was sprouting some of the plants, uh, played some uh, beautiful uh, chant music uh, to the plants as the plants were growing, and everything about it it was just high vibration. The soil, the seeds, the plants, and then, and, and this is really very important. It's something I've done for decades. Every morsel of food, before it goes into my mouth, we bless. Always. And we well up this sense of, of, of extreme gratitude and appreciation, so much so that uh, it brings tears to your eyes that you are so blessed by this and uh, that turns it into something else. Yes, I remember a specific study that was done on two sets of plants. And one set they played beautiful classical music and the other set they played some type of an acid heavy metal rock and roll. And the plants that were getting the classical music grew beautifully, grew large, and the plants on the acid heavy metal music did not do well at all. It was a, a very, very conclusive study on uh, what the vibration of sound does to the plants. Yeah, and, and just think of the studies that were done uh, on water, how water, once it's blessed, takes on a different type of uh, molecular structure. Well, what about our bodies? Our bodies are, you know, 70, 75% fluid. Blood is 90% fluid. Brain is, is mostly water. Muscles are mostly water. Every single thought, every single uh, expression of appreciation and thanksgiving, every act of kindness vitalizes that fluid. And if it does that, you know, you're going to live as long as you want. <laughs> and what else, like what type of exercises or how do you keep your body so fit? Because Peter, wow, you, you have a lot of muscle there. You look very fit. And <laughs> <laughs> I think our viewers would like to know what kind of exercise that you've been doing. Well, uh, I'll have to show you the gym. Uh, I have a, a full gym here in the house. and. Uh, I've always worked out. I've he always kicked found... me out of the gym. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's got her own. She she's got her her treadmill and uh, her exercise equipment, and 
in another room now. <laughs> His expanded, took up the whole gym, so I got kicked out into another room. Yeah. It's okay. Um, <laughs> okay. But obviously, uh, I lift weights. I do stretching exercises or yogic ex exercises. But uh, every morning, I spend several hours meditating, and then I do Qigong. And uh, Qigong, I, I do a particular type of Qigong. It's uh, uh, something I write about and talk about to, to the public. But it certainly is designed to use the body. In other words, uh, reverse the aging process. And if the ancients had any uh, insights, it was that that allowed them to live very, very long and healthy lives. And uh, keeping the flesh, uh, you know, I sort of like it, I've grown used to it over all these years, and I uh, sort of like to keep it for a bit. <laughs> Excellent. Well, if people would like to learn more about you guys and, and go to your websites, can you please tell them how they could find out more? Sure. I'm at katrinamayer.com, that's K-A-T-R-I-N-A-M-A-Y-E-R.com, and he's at peterragnar.com, P-E-T-E-R-R-A-G-N-A-R.com. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your willingness to share. And thank you, Craig. Yeah, thank you, Craig. We appreciate you. Bye.